I have no common sense. Let's go. <laughs> we're here with McDowell, so can you tell us a little bit of why you're here today? Sure. We're in the second year of a teen parenting program that we're doing here at the school that every month we bring together either pregnant teens or teens who have had their babies and the fathers for a whole day of sessions. What are the activities that they're doing in the class today? Well, it depends on who we can get to volunteer. Everybody who's participating with the program is a volunteer from community agencies both in Lincoln County and outside the county. Uh, today we had somebody who came and talked about pregnancy and stages of pregnancy and birth since we've got some pregnant teens in the classroom. We also had somebody who came and talked about car seats, different kinds of car seats, how you put it in correctly, how you put it in incorrectly. Um, we had somebody from DHHR who came and talked about different kind of programs young parents could participate in. Right now we've got kids on the floor and we're doing creative kind of play things that would help a child as they develop. What are some of the events that are coming up with the parents? We'll be doing something again in October and again in November. Uh, in October, let me think if I can remember all this stuff. In October, we're going to be doing a thing about how you can communicate with the partner in the relationship, you know, because sometimes we've got the mom and the baby living with her parents, and we've got the dad living with his parents, and there can be issues about how you make decisions about the baby so we'll be doing something about that we'll be doing something uh, some things about how do you make good decisions there's a session coming up about preventing a second pregnancy we'll also try to respond to what the teens want so at the end of each thing we do we ask them to evaluate and give us suggestions for other stuff so what they suggest will sort of drive what we bring in for the next time okay thank you for volunteering you're welcome <coughs> It's Friday, October 19th. I'm Josh, and this is Blossom, and it's time for your morning announcements. Any club, group, or team interested in participating in the first annual Hamlin Heritage Day, please see Mayor Chris Wilkinson in the cafeteria for more information. There'll be a rep from WVU here October 29th during homeroom, and the Concord rep will be here November 7th. Teachers, please have your students fill out their teen read week surveys and turn them into Miss Lane in the Media Center. The volleyball team continued their winning streak on Tuesday with a win over Wyoming County. Congratulations to the Lady Panthers. Now here's a quick word from your head honcho. Morning guys, I just want to share some information with you. We will have some visitors here next week, the Office of Education Performance Audit. Um, for those of you who don't know who those folks are, they are an entity in Charleston that determines whether or not we are doing the things we need to do to be successful as a school. So what I need you folks to do is next week when you see those folks, smile, answer their questions, let them know that uh, uh, we're doing some amazing things here in Lincoln County High School. I also want you to uh, make certain that you interact with them, have conversation with them. They'll ask you lots of questions, so, so just be very frank with them and let them know uh, the things that need to happen. What we want to do is make certain that uh, we become a West Virginia School of Excellence. I've spoken to each and every one of you about that, and uh, it's okay if we share that information with the Office of Education Performance Audit. Show them what it's all about to be a Lincoln County High School Panther. And thank you. Have a great day.